friends, welcome back to my channel, Garden of Grace, and welcome to my apartment bathroom. Today I have a fun and rather adventurous video for you where I will showing you a DIY at home cut and color for curly hair. This is what I am trying for the first time to be a frugal homemaker. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. So this is definitely more of a fun video. You're going to watch me struggle so much with my hair today. Um, just a little bit of background. So the last time I got my hair done was about a little over a year ago probably closer to a year and a half, and then six months or eight months prior to that, I had gotten my hair done again. And then I hadn't gotten my hair done since then, since prior to the thing that shut the country down and shut the world down, which I can't say because my video will get flagged. And that was probably two years prior. And I was used to going to the hair salon at least once a year for, you know, a little refresh and a cut. And um, that's all I did. During the thing that, you know, shut the country down, um, I was just trimming my hair. I did attempt to cut my hair off um, once and I failed at it so badly. I had to have my husband come in and even it out for me. And over the last two years that I've been here in Texas, I have like just kind of trimmed the ends a little bit but as you will see my hair was in desperate need of a good chop which as you can see i've done this isn't a fully styled look obviously um you'll see why in the video why um it's just kind of like this for the time being i actually have to wash it again tomorrow but why did i just not go to a hair salon like i have in the past well you know what i am a homemaker and uh, now and um, a frugal one at that my husband works really hard as i've mentioned before he works two full-time jobs and i just would feel absolutely horrible spending 200 to 300 bucks of his hard-earned money at hair salon so i spent 15 dollars on hair dye and i chopped off my hair for free so um i'm learning how to do this, this is my absolute first time trying to cut this much hair off and creating layers it is not my first time coloring my hair at home however it's the first time using this particular brand and you will see how much i have struggled with this stupid <laughs> box of hair dye that i will never buy from this brand again so i hope that you have fun watching me struggle and um, watching me try to save a few bucks. So let's jump right into me doing my hair. I hope this angle is okay. I am in my jammies, something that I'm not worried about getting dirty while we are doing the coloring process. So before we get started, I figured I would show you my starting point. I'm kind of embarrassed <laughs> because my hair is sorely neglected. So here's where we're at right now. Um, and it hasn't been washed in a few days, so it's definitely looking a little um, worse for wear than if, um, obviously, if it was just not cut and not colored. It's looking even worse since it's not washed. So really, like, this is where it's going down to. It's not got its full curl because it's dirty. <laughs> it's not clean, so it's not curling. So when it curls, it just goes up a couple more inches. Um, and you can see these ends here are kind of colored because this is from like an old balayage from like two years ago, maybe last year, almost two years ago though. Um, and so my hair is black and I've obviously, I've got the, the grays and the whites that I am worried about. I've, I started like getting whites when I was 16 and it's genetic. My dad has the same issue. So, um, what I want to do other than just color and freshen I want to chop off at minimum this little kind of dead section here ideally I'd like to go even shorter but we're gonna work our way there because I have to remember that when it curls it's gonna go up a bit more and I apologize if I'm looking more at the screen than the camera so if I got my glasses on so if I'm looking more at the screen than the camera is because I don't have my glasses on so it's a little hard for me to see like am I doing everything right so that's why you might see me going here also it's kind of functioning as my mirror for like this moment here um so yeah we're we're gonna be coloring this we're gonna be fixing this up freshening it giving it a good chop I mean I asked my husband like how short he was okay with me going I like my hair really short because it when it's this curly it's more manageable I would like to take it up to like here if I could uh, but I want to I want to like go really slow with it and make sure like you know we're not chopping off too too I mean it's just hair my hair grows pretty fast especially with all the supplements I take so with the hair dye process um 
I may have mentioned this in the intro, I'm filming this before the actual intro. I am very used to dyeing my hair myself. Um, I would go to the salon pretty regularly every six to 12 months and I would let them dye it there. But in between to keep it up, I would do it myself and I have used all the conventional brands like L'Oreal and um, Revlon and Clairol. I've used all of them. And um, other than the fact that they're extremely toxic, they're fine. I have, um, during shorter points in my life, tried the non-toxic versions and they were fine too. The only issue is they're more expensive usually. But of course, being on my wellness journey, non-toxic or at least less toxic is very important to me. So I that was my air conditioning that has just turned off. But I went to Sprouts. They had a couple of different brands of low tox, non tox varieties of hair color. And the brand I picked up was Nature Tint. And this is in the shade Dark Chestnut Brown. Now, as you can see, I have black hair. However, what I have found is if you have black hair and you dye your roots black or you dye your hair black, it looks really unnatural and really harsh. So I tend to go for the darkest brown that they've got because it lends a softer look to the to the hair and it doesn't look so like like I'm I wouldn't say I'm super fair but like I'm fairly fair for having dark hair um and so I like to use brown because I feel like it warms up my complexion and it just makes the overall look softer I mean essentially my goal is just that like my whites are no longer white and they're they kind of blend with my hair so that's I mean this is gonna accomplish that pretty well um is this like completely non-toxic no if you want to go like 100% non-toxic no chemicals whatever use henna I would like to work my way up to using henna that's definitely something that is in my you know future goals but for now I'm using something I'm relatively familiar with I'm familiar with the process and what this kit contains is the colorant the developer a mask a hair mask and gloves so let's get started. Oh, and before we get started, I did want to mention, so typically when I've bought conventional hair dye kits, they come with a shampoo and conditioner, but this one just comes with a hair mask, which is fine. However, obviously I'm going to want to wash my hair. So I wanted to share with you what I have been using and loving for the past like month or so. So I have been using the Young Living line of shampoos and conditioners. I've used their lavender mint, which is excellent. And right now I'm really loving the Copaiba vanilla. It is super nourishing, super hydrating, and it smells delicious if you love the smell of cardamom because this has cardamom seed oil and it reminds me of like a delicious Turkish dessert or something this is amazing so this is what I'm gonna be using to wash my hair with just so you know obviously I'm not gonna be taking you into the shower with me so you can see what I'm using so just so you know this is what I'll be using after we're done coloring so let's go ahead and dive right into this box and get everything assembled so it does come with instructions I'm just gonna take a look to see like kind of what they're I mean I generally know what you're supposed to do but just to be 100% safe and make sure that, um, you know, I don't have any issues with doing this. It's not very clear on the instructions. I also do want to mention, are these the gloves? Oh yeah, they're attached to the, to the sheet. I forget they do that sometimes. I do want to mention, now I know a lot of people when they do the hair dye sets, they will just color their roots. I don't do that. Like, why am I going to waste hair dye? And also, because I think it looks more uniform if you take it down the rest of your hair, like obviously we're going to be chopping this off so it doesn't really matter. However, I've always just taken hair dye down the rest of my hair because I like the overall color to be pretty like uniform and just look cohesive. So that's what I do. So yes, the gloves were attached to the pamphlet here. And I'm just double checking everything to make sure there's not any instructions that are like different than what I would expect. So the instructions seem pretty straightforward, pretty similar to what I have experienced in the past already. Um, I know a lot of people will apply something like Vaseline on the edges to prevent the color from staining the skin. I, I don't use Vaseline, so we're not gonna do that. I know a lot of people will put a towel around them because they worry about, they're worried about their clothes. 
I don't really care that much. It's just close, so I'm not too concerned about protecting all that. I'm more concerned with um, obviously the whole thing turning out well. So here's what's in the kit. We've got the quinoa mask, which we will use this later in the shower. Um, what I'll do is instead of conditioner, I will use the quinoa mask. This is the color developer. And then this is the actual permanent hair colorant. So I'm going to be pouring this into here and then we will shake. I think, is there a screw top here? Yep. There is a screw top right here. So that makes it easy. I don't have to worry about cutting anything. So I'm just opening that. I'm gonna try to do as much on camera as I can. Obviously the angle is a little different. So just toss that into the box. So we're gonna try to do this without spilling. And I'm pouring the whole thing in here. There we go. That's trash. And then we will close this up. The screw top is on. We're gonna shake it pretty vigorously until the whole thing is mixed up. All right, so I've been going at shaking this for just about two minutes. It's pretty much blended. So I'm gonna grab my gloves. They always give you these big gloves that are really hard to maneuver. I prefer like those latex gloves that are tighter because they're just so much easier. Um, and I've got my mirror right here in front of me, which is actually what I'm going to use, not so much the camera. Hopefully you can see just fine with what I'm doing. Okay, so take the screw top off. And what I do, and you'll, because I'm not going to talk through this, is I start at the roots. I get it all massaged in the roots, and then whatever's left, I take it down. And then I have um, my hair clip from earlier, and we'll tie it up. And that's what we're going to do, so. Let's get going with that. I find that this process is a little slow. So I'm going to just start squirting it in my hands. And because I've just got so much hair. And I know that there's like a more, you know, precise way that you can do this. You section your hair out, and you, you know, whatever, all those things. But I've never done it that way. And it's been fine. Also, there might be a little bit getting on your countertops. Just be aware of that. That can happen. I'm not too worried about it because it, it does get pretty clean, so I'm not horribly concerned. And also what I like about this um, less toxic version is it's not as, like, the fumes aren't that bad. Like. Yeah, like it smells more herbal. It doesn't really smell like toxic chemicals. All right, I'm gonna flip my head over so I can get the backside. <laughs> Definitely interesting. Like I'm half tempted to just open up the whole bottle and pour it into my hands and do it that way. So no, it's not as precise as sectioning it off and all those things, which you could do, but I've got less time and too much hair to, to do all that. So I just find that this method has always worked pretty well for me. I haven't really ever had any issues like missing hairs or whatever. And then also if you hear that noise, my air conditioning is turning on. Okay, y'all, I've got way too much hair and not enough time. I'm just unscrewing it. I don't recommend this by the way. This is not like the official, like correct way to do any of this. This is just what I'm doing because it's just what I feel like doing. I'm gonna start moving it down into the, um, I'll also try to get right here because I tend to get whiter hairs there. I'm going to start moving down the length of the hair now that my scalp and everything is pretty much covered. So we'll start going down the length of it. I'm not too worried about making this part really perfect or anything because, you know, a lot of it is just going to get chopped off. I'm probably really only going to take it just up until that straggly bit. My glove was coming off. And then what I'm going to do with the rest is just kind of go in and just make sure that scalp is fully covered, get any of those smaller areas, like around the ears and things like that, back of the head. I'm not worried about my skin getting stained. It does wash off after a couple days. It all comes out eventually, so I'm not super concerned. Oh, 
forget to get a nice picture to get right here. Yeah, like my arms <laughs> already are stained, but like I really don't care. It does not matter to me. So I've used up just about the whole bottle. Might be a tiny, tiny bit left in there. And I'm just making sure that I've really got my whole head saturated. What I'm gonna do now is basically gather all this hair. I keep getting dye on my forehead. Um, and I'm just twisting it. And as we twist, it'll cover the rest of it too. And then tie it back and we'll clip it and hold it in place. And then the instructions say to leave it for 30 minutes. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it on for 30 minutes, take a shower, wash everything off, and then I will be back to show you the results and we will move on to the actual. All right, so we are back after the shower. As you can see, I have a new dress on. So um, you'll have to excuse any noise you hear in the background. They are finally doing some landscaping and mowing that lawn, which is like drowning my small dogs. Every time they go in there, they look like they're swimming in the grass. And so then on top of that, my dogs are now barking at the people doing the landscaping. So please pardon the noise, but um, we are going to move on to the next step. We're gonna check this hair. I mean, there's really nothing we can do now if it's not colored right, but we'll just take a look and see how it came. And then we're gonna cut. Um, one note I do wanna make about this um, box dye that I used, the Nature Tint, I think it was called. Um, it was very, very difficult to wash out this dye. Um, I've never experienced something like sticking so much to my hair and it really, I didn't like kind of like how sticky it was making my hair. It reminds me of like when you overcook pasta and it just clumps together, that's what was happening. I actually ended up needing to use like regular soap to try to go in there and separate the hair a little bit and get some of that dye out. It was really difficult to wash out. And I did go through and shampoo quite a few times and my shampoo is really good. It does wash things out of my hair. So like it'll wash out like my styling product and things like that. So just the fact that it wasn't washing this out, I was a little frustrated. And then the hair mask was honestly thinner than the conditioner. So I don't know why they called it a hair mask. Like I did use it, but then I used the rest of it to like shave my legs because it was just so thin. And I felt like I'm honestly not even gonna use this to be real frank with you. So I just used it to shave my legs. I think it worked fine for that. So let's take this out. I am just quickly reaching for a hairbrush now. I know a lot of people say don't use a hairbrush on wet hair and especially curly hair. However, for me personally, I have way too much hair to use a comb, like just a comb. And I've been doing this for years and I've never had any breakage issues or anything like that. In fact, honestly, if some of my hair does come out, like I'm fine with that just because I have so much thick hair. And every time I go to a hair salon, they always comment on just how thick my hair is. And it's, it gives me headaches. That's why we're gonna chop it off today. So I've got my brush, let's take this main down. And then also the brush that I'm using is just this old Conair brush. I've had this for years. Also, if you hear any noise, I'm so my cats potty boxes are in the bathroom so I think she's she's going potty right now which is great timing <laughs> let's take this down okay and this is the towel that I use for my hair I'm trying to see if there any color transfer me a little bit so I'm definitely going to give it a wash um it definitely transfer this is like a microfiber towel that I use for my hair only I don't use regular towels so yeah I can feel like I don't know it's kind of got like a slick, slimy texture to it still. I'm worried that there's still hair dye in it because I don't know, it was just so hard to wash out. So I'm, I don't normally ever do this, but just to be safe and make sure that there's just nothing really left in there, I'm just kind of going through and trying to remove, you know, anything that might be in there just because I mean, I don't know. I'm trying not to get any under my nails either because my nails aren't painted and they look so <laughs> weird. All right, I'm gonna just start brushing it out. My countertops, by the way, are pretty messy. My bathtub is um, looking like almost a crime scene. Like it's just so messy. I'm gonna have to clean that out tomorrow. All right, so this is, I just quickly brush and maybe that'll help kind of disperse you know, whatever is in there. I'm just concerned it didn't get washed out all the way because it was just so difficult to get out. Like, <laughs> look at it. I don't know if it's just the texture, like 
if it's just the product that made my hair texture weird and it's doing that or if there is just like like it was just difficult to wash I'm gonna separate it a little bit and, and it kind of makes like a weird smushy noise too I don't know I mean it feels really slick in there still so I don't know if that's the conditioner or like I spent forever trying to wash this stuff out I probably would not purchase it again I'm not super thrilled I mean obviously we'll know for sure once it's dry but we are gonna cut it while it's wet so we do kind of have to mess around with it a little bit it feels a little bit better now that I've brushed it out but there's you can see <laughs> it's giving me a hard time try to use the towel to get more of it out I guess I don't know if there's product I mean nothing is transferring out so it may just be whatever it's done to my hair like it just is you know it's kind of dreaded it almost it's really annoying I'm gonna try using a comb the same comb that we're gonna be using to actually do the cutting process see if that helps well there's like a little bit of conditioner coming out at this point and I think it's just because it was just so difficult to wash out but I mean honestly I'll probably wash my hair again tomorrow too just to just to make sure there's nothing like left in there in terms of stains I don't see any so it didn't like stick around on my skin or anything even whatever was on my arms is gone so that's great news but the only complaint I have at this point is just my hair texture but hopefully as it dries it'll improve so let's move on to the cut so I have in the past trimmed my hair like trimmed the ends just to make them look neat using that unicorn method I've never done a big chop and I've never done like layers on myself so that's what we're gonna do today I watched a few videos think I know what I'm doing the great thing about curly hair is if you mess up it's very hard to tell because it's curly it's not like straight across so you're not gonna be able to tell that much if you have messed up so um, what I've got here handy aside from my brush and the comb that I was using is I just have a pair of shears these are like really cheap scissors that came with my husband's haircut kit I do cut my husband's hair it's easy I just do a buzz cut so <laughs> the scissors I just use usually to just trim my ends and um, I may have mentioned this in the intro but the last time I got my hair cut was over a year ago and in between I've just kind of trimmed the ends um, to kind of keep them from looking too straggly and then I got it done also a year before that and then I Tried to cut my hair during the thing that shut the world down, which I can't say because my video will get flagged I did try to cut my hair I did an absolute horrible job and my husband had to go in and like even the whole thing out for me and then prior to that I am very used to going to the hair salon like about every 12 to 6 months like or every 6 to 12 months basically I would go get my hair cut get it colored all the things however you know now I'm a frugal homemaker I no longer want to spend two or three hundred dollars getting my hair done every year I'd rather spend the 15 it cost me to buy that box of dye and cut it myself and just get better at it so we're gonna do the unicorn method also I will have hair ties so that's what I'm gonna be using I have two of those so I'm gonna flip my head over and we're going to brush all of the hair to the front and yes that is a potty box right there so just excuse that oh my gosh it's so tangled back here also one thing we didn't do is take a look at the roots I think they look really good um the color definitely stayed like it's stuck and like you can see the color match is really great so I think that dark chestnut brown was a good um was a good option for my hair I'm having a hard time getting this whole thing brushed out because it's so tangled I think from um, the you know the conditioner being stuck so I'm trying to use my fingers first to try to and the texture of the you can see it's not clumping as much I'm brushing it out more and more it's not getting as clumpy but the back is so tangled so I'm trying to get all of that as untangled as I can before I throw it up in that unicorn mess <laughs> that we're trying to do but it is really like I don't know really stuck so this might this might take a few minutes to to do I ended up using a comb to separate and I found a spot where it's like really matted I'm trying to just get that out 
I think that's what was holding it back from me being able to brush it all the way up. All right, so real life for a second, I was trying to get my hair in that unicorn and it was getting so tangled and I'm like, something is not right. And I just bent my head over in the tub, grabbed dish soap, well I grabbed the dish soap first and I like really scrubbed my hair out. And you know what? I think the um, hair dye was still like, it was still in there cause look, I mean, I still have to brush it cause the, the roots are tangled from um, just being bent over and everything, but it's not sticking anymore. I think it took it out. So like, if you use this brand of hair dye, you're probably gonna have to use dish soap to, <laughs> to get it out because that's what I have to do. Now granted my dish soap is non-toxic, but still it's frustrating because I'm like, why won't my hair cooperate with me? So I'm gonna brush this out and then we will get into our unicorn. You can see the difference. It's not sticking nearly as much. It sticks a little bit, but I think it's the, um, from using the dish soap made it like super, super squeaky clean. But like, this is pretty normal for me, I would say. So I'm gonna tackle the side next. What I just started doing was, I mean, I've got a rat's nest coming up right here. So I just split it roughly in two and just started going in and brushing. I probably lost a ton of hair doing this, may not even need that haircut. Um, and then my ends got not super dyed from the hair dye because I didn't really take it into the ends, but I got a little bit because I think it did get mixed up. I can't believe I had to go in with dish soap, y'all. Like, come on. I've never had that problem. So I probably would not purchase that particular brand of hair dye again. So, all right. I'm just going to smooth those roots down. That feels so much better. It still feels like a little conditioner -y. I didn't add any more conditioner. So I was like, nope, even if the dish soap is too much, um, like it dries it out too much, like I have oil that I'll be putting in afterwards but like it still feels slightly sticky at the root but it's not horrible I don't know I may wait to cut it till tomorrow then I may let it dry and then um wash it out tomorrow and then cut it I don't know like it's sticking a little bit but not near as bad so try to see what we can accomplish here I don't even think the dish soap took it out all the way, to be honest. But I really don't know because that root is still really, really sticky. All right, I did have to work a bit at it, but I was able to get the hair up front because you want to really make sure it's very, very smooth in the back, which already when your hair is curly is difficult, but then on top of that when it's curly and then potentially you know tangled and all this it's even more difficult so i'm just tying it right up here in the front with the one hair tie looks kind of silly but i guess this is the thing right okay and then oh, i've got a hair in my face okay um and then we take the other hair tie and we're going to place this where I want the initial length. I'm gonna be a little conservative and put it here. Obviously I'd like to go shorter, but we'll start here and we're going to be cutting off like right underneath that hair tie. So I've got my shears. It shouldn't be too difficult to flatten the hair because it's insisting on sticking together. So I'm just gonna hold it and we're gonna to go to town on this. Try to keep it as straight as possible. Like I said, I've done a trim doing this, but not like a full blown shop. I'm just trying to make sure it's, it hasn't got any straggly bits there. All right, what are you doing? All right, great. And then, I'm going to go through and they say it is removing the heaviness off the ends. I don't really know what that means, but it's where you kind of go in and do like this. <laughs> Again, I don't really know what that means, but we're just doing it because it's the thing to do, I guess, when you cut your own hair. A little piece there that's sticking out. All right. 
try to let this down and look at the length. I feel like each time I'm gonna let my hair down, I'm creating like a bigger and bigger mess. But I have to try to salvage whatever is going on here. My hair smells like dish soap. <laughs> so you can see the length. I want it shorter. Definitely wanna remove more of that. I may just do it like where I don't do the unicorn method. I think because I have a lot of length and I wanna take some of that length out, we're going to um, initially like not do the unicorn method, if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do is, y'all, I've never done this before, so you're on an adventure with me here. At least the actual hair chop part. I may need my glasses actually because I'm trying to look in the mirror. My glasses are a little foggy, but it'll be fine. So I've got my comb and I'm gonna split my hair like right down the middle. I definitely want it significantly shorter. Um, I don't want this much length in my hair. And it may have been like because my hair is already in layers that it was hard to you know, get the exact length, but just get this brushed out here. I hope it's even on the back. If it's not, will you let me know? <laughs> if it's not even, let me know um, if I screwed up, but obviously I can't see perfectly. So I just have to kind of go by feeling a little bit. In fact, I kind of feel like this piece should be here. My goodness. This is an adventure. This is going a lot worse than I was hoping for. I was hoping for it to be a little bit easier. I've never had such a difficult time coloring my hair. All right, so I'm gonna just clip this side out the way because I wanna get, you see this, all the straggly? I wanna get it like gone. I'm gonna brush all my hair to the front, use my hair tie and tie it off to where I roughly want it. So about here, I wanna chop this off, which is not gonna be easy considering I can't quite see it. Actually, I can't see it. All right, going in with the scissors now. Great thing about curly hair is it doesn't show mistakes as much as straight hair does. Well, there we go. That's a length I can be a little happier with. I just see some straggly bits. All right. That is closer to the length I wanted it. Of course, we are gonna go through and add layers, but now let's do the other side. As you can see, it is uneven because I just had so many layers. Um, in there. Y'all should just see my countertop right now. It's ridiculous. And I think hopefully now that I've chopped off the bulk of that length, um, doing like this whole brushing and tangling nonsense should be a little easier. I hope now that it's not as much hair. We are gonna move this, I'm not gonna have it quite this short. I want it to match. Where it is at. Just a little bit, like here. Seems about right. Find out. It's just hair at the end of the day, y'all. It will grow back. There we go. I feel like my husband's gonna kill me <laughs> for how short I'm going, but okay. So this is a lot of hair. I still wanna layer it out though. So I'm gonna remove my glasses and we're gonna 
brush through and what I've seen in the video is they're gonna do the unicorn but you're not gonna take your whole head of hair you're just gonna take some of it and I think all this brushing is helping that stickiness a little bit because I think it's removing whatever was stuck in there all right just pulling the hair all the way back I could just leave it here but I want some layers okay so now we're gonna pull it back from the ears we're gonna gather like right here from the ears and I'm just gonna clip this section up for a second so I can deal with this I'm actually just gonna brush that really well make sure that it um isn't tangled or anything and I'm just gonna secure it with the hair top that way it doesn't get tangled and I'm gonna put this section try to put this section into its own unicorn all right so I managed to get this into its own unicorn for the most part I know there's some people that get really attached to their hair I'm not one of those people to me it's just hair it grows back if you mess up like no big deal all right so I've got this guy and as good as the uni unicorn as it's gonna get and then I'm gonna take well I've got the other hair tie holding um, my hair back here so I'm gonna swap that for the clip and I'm gonna take this hair tie hair tie and do the same thing and this is where I'm gonna be cutting my layers I'm not cutting it quite that short don't worry I'm just tying it off real quick already going a little too short for my husband's comfort I'm just gonna leave it like right there and then I'm going to be cutting it like straight and my understanding is to cut it at an upward diagonal this way I believe or I suppose I could do downwards it might be a lot easier for me to see like a downward angle that'll be a little easier to see so at a diagonal downward is what I'm gonna go for because what I saw in the video she was holding it like this and she was going this way but for me it's a little difficult to see so I'm just gonna go this way I think. so I think I've got what she was saying if you can see that she said hold it at a diagonal upward all right we're about to find out if I did this right or if I did this wrong so it came out an angle I'm assuming that's layer so that was one set of layers um I like the length this was kind of where I wanted it it's going to shrink a couple inches when it's Currently, I want to do one more set of layers, like what I saw the girl do, like face framing layers. Y'all, I'm learning. <laughs> this is truly frugal housewife life. Um, I like the length. Um, we'll find out for sure how the layers came out when it dries, but um, let's do another one more like face framing layer. So this time you're supposed to get more of like your bangs not so much the whole thing so split the hair in half I don't have bangs so we're gonna have to try to figure this out especially because with the texture issue my hair is not really cooperating so we're gonna try to you can see a little bit of of layers but we're gonna try to create some face framing ones so I'm so used to doing a side part, so we're gonna split this right here down the center. Okay. And then we're going to gather, I guess, whatever would be the bangs, which in my case is not very much. I don't really have bangs. Just try to grab all the 
all the hairs that are by the face is my guess. I think the up here seems okay. It's not super even, but it's the way that my hair falls, honestly. Okay. Should I just go with this? Should I bother with the sides? I don't know. Are you supposed to take the sides? I don't remember what she did. I'm not going to take the sides. I'm not going to take them. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> We're just going to do a little unicorn here. This is easier than trying to do all the hair. Okay. And then, oh my gosh, do you see this? I'm not doing this right. I'm sure. I'm, should I grab, should I bring more hair up? I feel like I should. I feel like I'm missing. Yeah. Right? Okay. That looks a little better. Okay. I feel like. I've got maybe a little bit more hair now. I am going to go a little shorter with these layers just because they're the ones that frame the face. And I want it to be a bit more noticeable. How silly do I look though, be honest. All right, so I do want to go slightly short with these layers, but not so short that like, you know, I screw myself up. So we're gonna do the same thing. She said, angle it up like this. Should I do more? I don't know. Let's see how this is looking. Oh, yeah, that's pretty short. That's pretty short. Yeah, that's fine. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna brush this whole thing out and we'll take a look and see what I think so far. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be giving my hair another wash tomorrow. It feels so sticky. That hair dye was just, I feel like I've used that brand before, but maybe I haven't. Maybe it was a different one because that was just absolutely horrendous to try to take out of my hair. All right, so the way I normally part my hair is slightly off center not like a super side part but oh my comb but slightly and we are just i'm not gonna style it because like i said i'm gonna be washing it tomorrow and i want to see how it looks um when it dries like naturally i want to see how it looks lengthwise i'm satisfied layers wise we've got some of those shorter face framing layers. I am going to add my um, Young Living Mira oil. If there's any hair dye in my nails, I apologize. But this is how much I've been touching my hair. It's like my fingers are wrinkled. So I'm going to add just a tiny bit of this as I normally do after I wash my hair. Literally just that much. Maybe it'll help with the texture. I don't imagine it will. There's only so much you can do with this. Like I said, I'm going to give it another wash tomorrow. All right, so I'm gonna let this air dry and we'll take a look and see how it came. And if it's, if it came really good, like if it looks good, then it's something that I know I can do without having to pay someone. So I'm gonna let it dry for a few hours and then I will check back in. So hair is mostly dry. I would say like 80%. I think it's a little bit wet in the back still. Now that it's dry, the texture is fine like it's not sticking or anything <laughs> okay let's let's discuss <laughs> am I 100% happy no but it was my first time chopping off my hair so you watch me struggle um okay so length is good um obviously if I had styling product in it it wouldn't be as puffy the only styling product I actually use in my hair when I style it is this LA hold styling gel by Giovanni I just put some of this in I don't do like the 10 different you know things that girls do for their curly hair i just use some of this and i'll mix it up with that um the oil that i used earlier this one by young living the mira hair oil which i love by the way and it smells really great and i've had this for like two to three months i'm only i don't know if you can see it 
like to there so and I wash my hair two to three times a week so okay so overall length is good again if I styled it it probably wouldn't be so puffy um <laughs> this piece this is one of the the front bang layers that I cut you can tell it's got a mind of its own I'm not entirely sure maybe I cut the front pieces too short um so I don't know what those are trying to do um obviously I wish my hair had more shape more I don't know something going on for it a little bit more um interesting sorry I'm looking at the screen because I'm trying to like <laughs> what is going on with this guy um but for the fact that I just wanted to chop off all that dead stuff and basically start fresh and have healthier hair I mean I can't complain let me show you the back and I'm not entirely sure what I think about the back because I know it's kind of got the bottom bottom layer is like long and it kind of just like reminds me of like a tail or something <laughs> but like when it's all pulled up in the front you can't really tell so I don't really quite know what I'm gonna do about that I might just leave it and then like watch more videos to figure out what I'm supposed to do like overall it's fine like it's fine but is it cute right now no because I haven't even styled it so it is what it is um my hair when it's curly has a tendency to expand that's why the gel is helpful I am gonna wash it again tomorrow just to remove some more of that stickiness it still feels a little sticky and tacky so I do want to remove some of that but my god I do not recommend that nature tint hair dye that was the worst I was trying to think was that the one that I had used before no I used a brand called tints of nature so I might try that one next time this one was absolutely horrendous I just struggled so much to get it out my hair literally smells like dish soap right now which I mean it's non-toxic but still um that is what it smells like so that's um that's what this is looking like right now for being most of the way dry and then part of the reason I also wanted to obviously chop it off was because when it was long this area like the I guess that's the top <laughs> there's no fancy word for it it was so flat y'all but I can definitely feel that it's a little bit more voluminous up top than it was before my head doesn't feel so heavy it feels lighter hopefully I get less headaches too I'm prone to headaches um so I'm basically just going to toss this up. I'll show you in a second um, how I'm going to toss my hair up and go out the door. So to put my hair up when I go out, especially when it's unstyled and I've just washed it, um, I literally just gather and I really don't know what this, this little sucker is going to do. Oh, that looks kind of cute, I guess. I don't know. Is that very 80s? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I might just bobby pin that piece back, but I usually just twist hold it up well it's very cold and I get one of these clippies and I clip on the base and that's literally what I do most of the time I can just tuck that piece behind my ear my goodness it's so 90s look at that I used to have like really unruly hair in the 90s so there was no way I could get away with this hairstyle but that's what I am doing for today as I head out all right it is 10 30 at night and I wanted to pop in here to let you know that while I was out today my hair still felt kind of sticky like back here and I could feel like the conditioner from the the actual like developer and the colorant like the actual color was like stuck still back here I don't know it just was not wanting to come out so when I got home not too long ago I just went in with dish soap and baking soda and scrubbed my head like really really well and um, my gosh, my hair feels so much lighter already. I think maybe up in the back here, there might still be like a tiny, tiny bit, but I think it's gonna come out with subsequent washes. Um, but this is what it's looking like. I did actually end up going in and kind of trimming down the these larger um, or longer basically um, layers because they were still a little straggly so I did I didn't do the unicorn or anything I just kind of looked at it and was like oh they're a little straggly and I trimmed them up so um, I'm gonna try to turn around and give you guys a more updated look obviously it's unstyled so the curls are not very defined as you can see but just to give you a look at kind of an updated literally just later in the day look at the hair all right if y'all can see that you know pull all this back here you can see it's not so much of that, you know, I don't have that tail 
basically that was hanging out before it's more of a U shape, which is what I was trying to go for. I didn't want like just that long bit that was like straight coming down. I think it looks a lot more cohesive. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out this camera. Um, it looks a lot more cohesive if you ask me. So I think the layers work really nice together. Yeah, I just want to pop in here and give you that little update that, you know, just to be transparent that I did end up having to wash it again. And I just did end up needing to trim it down just a little bit. Um, you know, like I said, it's my first time really doing this. I will not be purchasing that brand of hair dye again. I will be looking into henna. And if I ever get into that, I will definitely share with you. So just wanted to pop in and let y'all know what I did to fix up my hair. All right, y'all, so that is all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it was amusing and entertaining at the very least. I don't think you learned a damn thing from this video because I didn't even know what I was doing, but I hope that it at least gave you a laugh and you watched me struggle. I think the biggest thing I've learned today is not to buy the box of hair dye and just to buy a different one. I'm definitely gonna look into using henna or I think there's one called cassia or something like that that I will definitely be looking into as well. Just different ways that I can save money and save my hair from chemicals, I guess, um, in order to upkeep it. So I hope that y'all um, enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Wednesday. And be sure to check out the Biosite link in the description box below where you can find me on social media and check out my affiliate links as well. I will see y'all next week with a new video. Bye.